If you take note on some fuel stations, at least for Shell, the fuel cost is up by 50 shillings due to the fresh tax rise on fuel. It would take 30 days more for the 10% tax to be effected for mobile money services. We have not uh, increased the tariffs, but a 10% tax, a tax was levied by the government of Uganda as a result of the recommendation that was made in the budget. And uh, this tax would be levied on withdrawals by all customers. Where the, the, the current withdrawals, for example, have been 1,000 shillings, what is going to happen is that when you add on the 10%, it means the customer will have to add on 10% of that, which would be uh, 100 shillings. So instead of being charged 1,000 shillings, it would be charged 1,100 shillings. Prepare to pay 10% more on your withdrawal charges. But who is going to pay for the tax expected for July since the telecoms start collecting in August? Uh, we are regulated by the central bank. And uh, it is extremely important that we are compliant to the rules and regulations of the central bank. Now, according to those rules, we are supposed to give notice to the public uh, for 30 days. And that is exactly what we've done. Otherwise, ideally, we should have levied that tax effective 1st July. So the telecoms will either absorb this or must find a way to spread it. The players are worried that the tax might slow down the growth of the mobile money sector. The government's main target, according to the finance minister, are the informal sector who are the predominant users of this service and are for now mostly outside the tax bracket. Samo Setumba, NTV.